For some people, spacing is due to missing teeth. Now, classically, this is not missing teeth due to teeth being removed. This is people who present with a condition called hypodontia, whereby you're born with missing teeth. And we see that quite commonly in the practice. Classically, the teeth that are missing uh, are often the upper lateral incisors, um, so they are the teeth next to your front ones. And sometimes that can be both teeth that are missing, sometimes it can just be one tooth that's missing. And sometimes you can get a condition where one side the tooth is missing and the other side the tooth is quite small. Generally, this condition is passed through families and is genetic, so we might ask you about whether your siblings or your parents have had a similar condition and what they have had done. So generally for missing teeth you have got two options and this can depend on the number of teeth that are missing and the amount of space that's left. We have the option of closing all the spacing for your missing teeth and this can be quite good if the amount of residual spacing isn't significant. We would then close up all the spacing and then if you have any of your teeth need reshaping to hide the fact that you've got missing teeth, then we can either do that or work together with your dentist to do that. The alternative option is to uh, go through some orthodontic treatment to move the teeth into the correct position and have the missing teeth then replaced. And again, we would work with your local dentist or another specialist to have those missing teeth put back in. Typically, the missing teeth are put back in after the orthodontic treatment is completed. So when you come in for your uh, assessment, um, we can let you know when the timing is appropriate to consult with those individuals so that you end up with a seamless transition from your orthodontic treatment to the replacement of your missing teeth.